Welcome. This video lecture is going to be covering using proportional relationships. The learning target is for you to understand similar triangles. The two success criteria is for you to be able to set up proportional relationships between two similar triangles and to solve for an indirect measurement of a figure. So let's review an eighth grade core concept, which is on similarities. These two shapes that you see here are congruent. That means they have the same shape, which are triangles in this case, and they're the same size. Noted by the lengths on the sides, you see one side of the triangle is 3.5 centimeters, the other one is 4.5 centimeters, and the bottom is 4 centimeters. They are both the same shape and the same size. S For something to be similar, they have to have the same shape, but they don't have to be the same size. Here you see that these two triangles are the same shape, but they are different size. Triangle YX. Z is bigger than triangle QPR. Then, when two shapes are not congruent or similar, that is when they have different shapes and different size. Here the green is a pentagon and the purple is a hexagon. Now we're going to explore an indirect measurement. Here you see a tent a tree and it is and it stands at 10 feet high. There's a sun, the sun will cast a shadow on that tree, and that shadow will be 12 feet long. Now you have a taller palm tree, and that palm tree is 52 feet tall, and the sun at the same time casts a shadow, but you do not know how long that shadow on that palm tree is. But you know that the larger tree will actually cast a larger shadow, but by how much? What is that measurement of that shadow? How can we measure that shadow indirectly? That's where the idea of indirect measurement comes from. It's to be it's the ability to measure something using proportions and ratios. So, what are the measurements of the shadow? In this scenario, the shapes create a um, right triangle. The smaller tree was 10 feet high and 12 feet across. Then the palm tree was 52 feet tall and X feet across. So let's look at the solution on how we approach this. Understand that these are two right triangles and they are similar because they are the same shape but not the same size. You can compare them using proportions. So let's, up, let's set up the ratio. 10 feet divided by 12 feet is the ratio for that smaller triangle. The 52 feet divided by x is the ratio for the other triangle. So let's look at the solution on how we do this. You can compare these two ratios using a proportion. 10 over 12 equals 52 over x. Cross multiply. 10 times x, when we cross multiply, it should look something like this, 10, 10 times x, and 52 times 12. Then, that's what happens once you simplify, divide both sides by 10, you get x is equal to 62.4. That would be the length of that shadow right here. It should be 62.4 feet so this is actually the core concept of what an indirect measurement is setting up the ratio comparing it using a proportion and figuring out a missing measurement example one you're going to solve for a missing value here here you have a um, like a block of some kind and it casts a shadow that is 1.6 meters and you're gonna have a tree up there that casts a shadow of 7.2 meters you're trying to look for the height of this tree here's the solution set up the proportion you have a B which is gonna be the height of the tree right here this is a B divided by XY is gonna be equal to 
BC, which is the bottom here, divided by ZY. So H is divided by 7.2. Uh, the proportion is hold on a b over uh, this is wrong this should be c b because this is one over so this is x y over z y yeah so it went h over 7.2 is equal to 1 divided by 1.6 cross multiply then divide both sides by 1.6 you get H is equal to 4.5. So the height of the tree is 4.5 meters. Something that you should notice is that these are shadow problems. In shadow problems, we assume that there's a right triangle that is formed when the sun's rays from um, that shines is from the top of the object, it hits the ground. Let's look at the first example problem. Nina was curious about the height of the Eiffel Tower. That's why it's here as, as X in meters. She uses a 1.2 meter model of the tower and measure its shadow at 2 p.m. The length of the shadow is 0 0.9 meters. Then she measures the Eiffel Tower shadow and it was 240 meters. What is the height of the Eiffel Tower? Here the solution is you have to set up the proportion. The proportion that is set up here is the height of the Eiffel Tower divided by the height of the Eiffel Tower shadow. That's going to be x over 240 is equal to the height of the model tower divided by the model shadow, 1.2 divided by 0 0.9. Should look something like that. Then cross multiply divide and you get x equals to 320 there's actually another way for us to do this okay here's the problem again but they set up the ratio a little bit differently look at the way I color code it before I did the green on one side and the orange on the other side the height of the Eiffel Tower divided by the Eiffel Tower shadow okay this time I did it the height of the Eiffel Tower divided by the height of the model tower that equals to the Eiffel Tower shadow equals to the model tower shadow so that's what it looks like the height was X the height of the model is 1.2 that's gonna be equal to the shadow um, the shadow of the real one 240 divided by the model shadow at 0 0.9 cross multiply once you look at the cross multiply and once you simplify, you're going to start noticing it looks the same as before. Divide by 0 0.9 over, you get the same answer as x equals to 320 meters tall. So you got the same answer. So I want you, I want you to explore this idea comparing these two. This was the first way I did it and this is the second way I did it. The first way, I actually compared the Eiffel Tower equals the model tower. These was what I was comparing. In the second way, I compare the shot, the sh um, the Eiffel Tower shadow. Um, the t no, I went tower. The Eiffel Tower. Uh, sorry, I went here. I went from the height, and then I went into shadow. That's what my comparison was. Okay, do you see that? Height height equals to shadow shadow. Here, I went Eiffel Tower over Eiffel Tower. It went model over model, okay? So it doesn't matter how we set up our ratio. You should still get the same sort of answer as long as they're consistent. All right, so these are your two example problems. Please pause the video, read the question, and give this a try. All right, so let's go over the answer. 
Said is 72 inches tall to measure a fag post. Said stands near the flag. Said's friend's Miranda measures the length of Sid's shadow and the flagpole shadow. Find the height H of the flagpole. Here's the solution. You would set up the proportion. Here they compare the height and the height. So what they did is they went height was one ratio and they did it over the shadow here. So height is equal to shadow. So the height of the flagpole was H. The person's height was 72. So they went H over 72 is equal to Flagpole shadow, which is 128, divided by the person's shadow, which is 48. Cross multiply, then divide. You get x equals to 92. So we can say that the flagpole is 192 inches tall, because that is the unit in the problem. Number question three. Liam is 6 feet tall. To find the height of the tree, he measures his shadow and the tree's shadow. The measure of the two shadows are shown. Find the height h of the tree. So we set up the proportion. I went here, tree height divided by Liam's height equals to tree shadow over Liam's shadow. So I did height equals to shadow for the ratio. Again, you could do tree to Liam, doesn't matter. This is what I have after I plug it in. So the tree's height is H divided by Liam's height, which is six, equals to tree shadow, which is 28, and Liam's shadow, which is eight. Cross multiply, then divide six to both sides. You get h equals to 21, so you can say that the tree here is 21 feet tall. Good. And there you go. Those are all the ways you can use proportional relationships to find indirect measurements.